So delighted to say I'm joined by uh, MMA fighter Dara Kelly, who's got a, a very, very exciting time ahead. Uh, and he's going to tell us all about it. Dara, good to see you. Good to talk to you. Welcome to Highland Radio once again. Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, listen, Dara, um, I suppose we'll start maybe on a, on a disappointing note. You were to make mm -hmm. your pro debut towards the end of last year, but but that didn't materialize with your opponent, Junior Morgan, uh, pulling out uh, just hours before before the fight. Have you got over that disappointment yet? Because it was something that you were really, really excited about and really, really looking forward to. And I know following you in the lead up to it that, that, that you were bouncing to, to get into to action, but it, but it didn't happen. Have you parked all that disappointment now, have you, Dara? Uh, well, of course I was uh, disappointed, devastated. Um, there's a lot of hard work put into that, but I'm using it as fuel in a way for this training camp. You know, I'm, I'm more motivated. I've got, you know, I've got a reason to go in and grind. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on him this time yeah. when he shows up. Yeah. So, um, what's the intervening period been like then, uh, between then and now? And has your training differed any, or have you just been keeping, just been challenging yourself all the time as you're, as you're going to training sessions there? Yeah, well, last year was, it was disappointing. Um, I was hoping to get three or four fights. I went through five full fight camps. So training for eight weeks at a time. Um, and I only got to fight once, you know, four of them fell through. Um, I was meant to fight at the world championships last year and I ended up doing my ankle. So I had to get an operation and that was uh, eight weeks before Bellator. So I was, I only got about four weeks of training and before I was meant to fight Morgan the first time. So maybe this happened for a reason, you know, this time um, injury free, I'm fresh and I'm, I'm ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. So you had a difficult 2021. What's, what's the overall plan mm -hmm. now for, for 2022? Yes. The, the immediate, um, the immediate fight is, is Morgan. Is it a case that you want mm -hmm. four or five fights now in the coming year, Dara? Yeah, I, I, I'm looking for a quick turnaround after this. Um, get two out of the way, maybe in April. We'll say I'll go again, and then I would like one early summer, and then one more before the end of the year. So I'd like my plans to go four now. Yeah, okay. What do you want out of this first fight? Where, where, what, do, what do you want to see yourself t take out of it uh, against Junior Morgan? And what sort of opponent is he going to be, Dara? Well, <clears throat> in all my amateur fights, I, uh, I finished everyone. I have nine fights, nine finishes. So that's, that's the one thing I'm looking for. I'm going to finish him uh, whatever way it presents itself. I think my pressure, the usual style, pressure him, heavy shots, uh, take him to the ground and... I want to finish him either submission or TKO by yeah. ground and punch. Oh yeah, the the bulk of those nine and O's was all submissions, if, if I'm right in saying. So um, yeah, I think I had seven submissions yeah. and two TKOs. Yeah. So so what was your background before you decided to take MMA really really seriously, uh, Dara? What what sort of style of of um, fighting were you under at the time? What what variation of the sport? Um, well, I started uh, training in a club in Letterkenny, Healy and Gracie. Mm. under uh, Brian Coyle so that was jiu -jitsu, I was, was it yeah yeah primarily jiu-jitsu yeah. based so yeah. uh, and obviously you're taking that that through now to the professional ranks with with all the submissions and it's mm -hmm. it's been a journey that, you, that you've enjoyed from those days starting off in, in Letterkenny Dara to where you are now oh yeah it's, <laughs> it's a roller coaster so it is it's a it's a mad game like you know injuries the highest the highs the lowest the lows all the victories is there's been a lot happened in the last five years. Yeah. Three-time Irish champion in such a short period of time. There's nothing wrong with that, Dara. Ah, well, I said you have to <laughs> stock in. Yeah. And obviously, John Kavna had seen your, your potential, particularly mm -hmm. when you were coming through the amateur ranks. And I'm sure he watched you a, a lot in, in, in your early days. How have you found it being around the camp of, of John Kavna? Obviously, the link there to, to Conor McGregor is the trainer to Conor McGregor as well. Uh, what's, mm -hmm. How has John Kavna altered the way you look at, at the sport now? Oh, massively. I, uh, my style is completely different. Although my previous style worked very well for me in the amateur game. It was too heavily jiu-jitsu based and John highlighted that right away that you know I was more of a jiu-jitsu player rather than MMA fighter. Um, so John's changed my style dramatically. Um, I'd be a bit more wrestling based now. I think it suits the MMA a bit better. And 
he showed me the the amount of work you have to put in to reach the top, you know, and uh, with his facilities and over 85 professional fighters from all over Europe on the mats every single day, you know, you're forced to level up. So training under John has been brilliant so far. Yeah. Do you feel um, lucky that you're, that you're in such an environment with a sport that you love, Dara? I'm grateful day in, day out for it. Like, um, obviously, I love it. It's challenging. It's tough. <laughs> Sometimes you think, you know, maybe I'll look for another job. But at the end of the day, that's just because it's that tough. And I love it day in, day out. Grateful for where I am. Yeah. And when you get a reward, if you can get that reward now at the, at the end of February, it makes all the hard work um, so much easier to look back on. Maybe there is difficult days and there is tight days in the gym, but when you get when you get those ones, Dara, it's 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 easy That's to look back thing. on them then. When your hands raised, it's it's all worth it then. Yeah. yeah. Um, and obviously, what's the the local support like? Because you're going to Dublin, so you are, Dara, mm-hmm. and I'm sure you'll yeah. you'll be you'll be hoping to get as many Donegal supporters down the road as possible. Oh, it's, the support I get's brilliant. Um, I think last time I sold roughly 300 tickets and um, I think it would have been more if it wasn't for the restrictions last time. But now that there's no search needed or anything, I'm, I'd say there'll be more than 300 coming down. So yeah. it'll, be, it'll be great. It, it really does spur you on that bit more when you have them all cheering for you. Yeah. We've seen, of course, MMA events before there, uh, be it the Bellator, be it uh, the, the UFC. The Irish bring a special atmosphere to big events like that, so they do. Yeah, that's that's what a lot of the people from last time when they all came down, um, the fight was cancelled that close to the event. They didn't have time to, you know, they've already left. And a lot of them would never have been at an MMA event before and they were shocked about the atmosphere. You know, it's nothing they've ever seen before. It's something you just have to experience, that Dublin crowd. Yeah. Uh, listen, the MMA's in the blood, it's in the family. Younger brother Ryan's at this crack too, is it? Mm-hmm. He's following the footsteps now, so... Yeah, does he does he have potential like what you had through those early days, Dara? <laughs> he does. Uh, he uh, he gives me tough rounds as it is, and he's only seventeen, so yeah, he be he was that bit younger when he started. Now he'll be he'll be one coming through to watch now. Oh, I'm sure he loves sparring his brother. So does he's joined up with the Clan Wars? Is that right? Aye, so he's fighting the Clan Wars. You're based in Belfast. Um, he fought there maybe three months ago and uh, he fought very well. He stopped his opponent in the second round. So that was a good good test for him. Good test. Well, listen, just finally then, um, Dara, if I was to say to you in three years' time uh, in the, MMM world, the MMA world, where would you like mm-hmm. to be? Three years' time. Well, I have to say, I think I'll be knocking on the door of the UFC or there, thereabouts. That's my plan. Yeah, is that the end game? Is it to get to the UFC? Because that's at the end of the yeah. day, that really is the biggest promotion worldwide, isn't it? Uh, that is the that's the where the elite goes. That's what I'm planning, and uh, fingers crossed with hard work and guidance from John, and I'll get there. So bit hopefully, by bit. Hopefully so. Hopefully we'll see you, and and you'll be able to achieve your dream and getting there at some stage in the future. But in the meantime. Uh, the best luck, Dara, with uh, the fight against Junior Morgan coming up in, in February. And I'm sure you'll enjoy the occasion. And no doubt you'll get that TKO or get the submission one as well. The best of luck with. Yeah, thanks very much.